So when we talk about uh, mobility in Skype for Business Server, it uh, first of all, it enables mobility for uh, all the platforms. So whether it is the iPhone, Android, or the Windows Phone, it is a common platform that uh, enables real-time communication for these devices. You can do app sharing, VoIP, audio, uh, audio or data collab across all the, all the modalities. And Especially when it comes to mobility, one of the key things we have to keep in mind is that we always um, optimize for uh, battery and bandwidth. We are efficient on the wire in terms of how many notifications that are going out, in for presence updates, incoming call, and we do not drain the battery for any such reason. So that's one of the key principles we have kept in mind, and uh, this is the reason we have gone with the UCVA, which is the RESTful approach uh, to enable some of these features. And in addition, uh, what we have done is the mobility is actually part of the deployment of Lynx uh, Skype for Business server. You do not have to install a new service or manage a new service. It's the it uses the common architecture that in simplifies a lot of your steps. What is specific with uh, mobility in terms of Skype for Business server is uh, we've, we heard a lot of feedback from our customers around the usability around um, mobile IM. We al always had this issue that you would send an IM and it would not go to the user because he was on a mobile device. It would result either in an NDR or it would end up in, the, if you had another endpoint, it would end up in your other endpoint. And if you took out your mobile device, you could not continue the conversation. So m both Miru and Kaushal actually had a session uh, yesterday where they did a deep dive. Uh, I will briefly cover this in one slide uh, further down. Um, in addition to this feature, the other feature which has been a big push for Skype for Business Server is the Skype, you know, Skype Federation. What we, we've allowed um, calling into a Skype client before, um, but it required you to have an MSA account and link that MSA account to your Skype, Skype account, and only a limited set of users were willing to do that. Um, whereas with now, we actually enable any Skype user um, who can, uh, if you have a Skype ID, you should be able to search for that Skype user from your desktop client and add them to your buddy list. For mobile, mobile specifically, what we have enabled is that once these users are in your buddy list, we, you should be able to make a call to these users. 